It's so good. Do you think they'll like it? I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> Annie, the red light's on. <laughs> That's not a red light. It's my bird. And you have that page? Huh? What page you on? Paganini. Oh, oh look, Paganini. Is that a... Paganini? That's Paganini. Oh, no, that's page nine. Oh, <laughs> this stuff's pretty good. What do you mean? I, I hope the fans are going to be like thrilled because this is great. Who are these guys? Who are those guys? Wait, those are our fans. And you are? No, I am. Hi, no. I'm Andy P. And I'm Curly G, and we're missing Chrissy Team. But. You know what we forgot to do? What we forgot to do? Hello. 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 Oh, here we go. We'll start over. I'm Andy P. And I'm Curly G, the youngest grandson of what you know. Champ. <laughs> Wrong. Curly Howard. But that's his brother. That makes him my great uncle. Welcome to Stooge Talk Live, the Three Stooge Comic Book Edition. <laughs> Look, Ma. We're on a comic book, and we got this to talk about. Almost only this to talk about, because right now it's all we care about. I'm so excited! No, oh, I'm so excited too. Yeah, bow. <laughs> what made you boss? That's why I wore this shirt, because I'm, I'm missing Chris. Shut up, you. Ew, oh, he's not here, huh? No, oh, take that, Chris. Oh. Take that, Dermic. Oh. Take that, Mo. Hey, wh why I oughta? Oh. What? I had to slap you more often. It feels good. <laughs> it feels like my tonsils came out. Oh, oh, hi everybody. How are you? Jeff it's Beardley. Thursday. Thank, Thank you, you, Jeff. Hi, your pals, great comic book. And Sue Proud. Sue! Happy birthday. It is Jessica's birthday in three days. Three days? That's almost a month. But you know what we did for Jessica? <gasps> we, we baked you a birthday cake if you get a tummy ache and you moan and groan and whoa don't forget we told you so happy birthday not quite yet jessica happy birthday jessica jessica meant those are three days that's almost like two months so look who we got here oh we're Jeff jeffrey giordano is back kevin mcguffin's here hello hello Lewis, Alan, K. Fabian, uh, Night Fright Talk Show, Sue Prav, as always, thank you for helping us out, Sue. Be nice to her, or she'll shut you down. She's got our permission. So be good. Be good. Uh, so happy birthday, Jessica. Coming up, Stoogington's here, old soul. And what are you doing? I just think that maybe I could paint a better comic. <laughs> no, I don't think there's any better comic than these guys. They're the best! <laughs> I would ruin him. This is quality. Wait, we should have brought those paintings out. We should have brought those paintings out. I don't know this. what you were thinking. I was too busy at the cafeteria. I was, I was, I was cooking fish sticks <laughs> and really bad fries. I don't know what you're talking about. I do that on I Tuesdays was thinking, and Thursdays. That would take a lot of effort. You guys have no idea how much effort this takes. It doesn't take that much effort. <laughs> I just didn't want my hair to mold. Because you know what? I sleep with this. It keeps my perm down. I look like Greg Brady otherwise. What, what is this? What is this barrette you got on? It's not a barrette. It's what I wear at the cafeteria, I told you. And then when I sleep at night, I'm like little curly G on the prairie. Oh, oh, don't, don't stop, don't stop. Whoa, that's a different type of video. Anyways, it's great. Wait, you seem alarmed. Anyways, I think I'll take this. Excuse me, folks. I'm going to take it off. Oh, it has been a long Wait. week. What? There goes all the humor. <laughs> that was her whole shot. Oh, oh, no. Cover your face. <laughs> oh, Joel Hurley. Hope you guys are proud. You oh. deserve it. Thank you very much. We are proud we are static so, wow so super proud we got more to talk about with this we got john reigns thank you jeffrey thank you. And emily thank you all uh, you liberty guys bell bell liberty bell bell liberty bell oh. hey ring the bell you know somebody just asked let me go back oh you want to make this a cake Wanjul. debbie goodwin your birthday was yesterday happy birthday debbie, debbie. chris 
Did Curly G just get out of the shower? <laughs> I'm going to throw him back in. Hey, wait a second. I'm still a dirty boy. Summer Rondo. And Alan Jones says, Andy, did you get the picture of the six stooges I mailed? You emailed. Emailed? Wait, where'd you emailed? If you emailed it to we have you, a uh, with Stooge Andy at gmail.com. He doesn't have time to check anything. I have especially a, his bills. I have a job. I think this... The lights are I have a, I have the lights are flickering, I owe, folks. I owe a million emails. Oh, and he owes a million dollars too. <laughs> I, it feels like. It. So if you have twenty cents, send it to two 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 two, and I'll wear my shortest skirt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? We're so excited. We're on a comic book, Ma. Ma, where's Ma? <laughs> look what we did, Ma. We did this for you. We did it for the fans. We and look at this. Andy did this. You know, so I, you know, he, well, well, what? You did a lot of work. Do you remember these were like two shark lives? I, some of them. Were, actually, I think I did every one of these paintings live. That's amazing. I think, I think every one of these paintings I did means, live with you guys, and they're big. They're like the size of this one. You know what? That, I can go get them. Well, wait. Should I go what? get them? <laughs> that makes our fans the canvas in which you work. Somebody says, if you're good. <laughs> that means you're the canvas in which you work. Hold still. I don't know what you're... Hold still. Know. Open your mouth. Say, oh. 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 Paint thinner. Hey, if you were any thinner, you'd be, well, not that small. <laughs> Anyways, folks. Oh, mom and dad are on. Oh, mom, dad. Oh, hi, mom and dad. It's about time. You've been missing for a while. Love the Three Stooges t-shirts. Ooh, thank yeah, you very much. I wore this one because I miss Chris. Dermick is uh, busy in Hollywood. How could he be busy on this day? Yeah, Universal Studios Hollywood, folks. He's in a live show. I mean, right? Is that what he's doing? Or is that what's coming up? Who cares? He's not here. I mean, he's bigger than... I don't pay attention. He's, he's not bigger than Stooge Talk Live. No one's bigger than <laughs> Stooge Talk Live. No one's better than the fans on Stooge Talk Live. Those hacks that paid so much money to go watch him dive into like a pillow... <laughs> oh, waste of money. Mom's calling already. All right. Hello. 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 Hello, Hello Ma. Ma. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm fine. I love, I love, I love the comic books. Did you get it? Oh, I got it late today. I haven't read them yet. You haven't? But, uh, but we got some books today. Okay. We're on the cover in the I'm first page. It's us, Ma. Yeah, what do you I think? No, know, I know. It's wonderful. I think I'm reading some of the comments and people are asking. Oh, how much? Oh, hold on. Oh. I, I hung up on her. Oh. This thing's not working. Oh, no. There oh, goes... no. I hung up on Ma. She's not going to send us gravy. Oh, uh, I'm coming back. She she was... Ma. Ma was going to ask, you, Ma. Ma was gonna ask oh. how much we paid them to do this. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Oh, Sorry, Ma. That's all right. Well, go on. Tell us. Yeah, what were you saying? People are asking what? Oh, okay. So I I was reading the comments, and a lot of people are asking, uh, am I off again? No. No, you're a talk, <laughs> Ma. This is TV, not radio. Yeah. I don't I know, know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> well, no dead air. People are asking... How can they buy them? Oh, that's a good question. So if you would like a copy of our comic... Hold on a second, Ma. We're telling them now. If you okay. like... <laughs> Ma, you want to tell them where to get it? Oh, I'm going to get it to her, all right? <laughs> right to the moon, Ma! So listen. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put... Here, you hold this. I'm going to put the link right now. If you want, we have a link right in our description. Uh, of this video. So you can go down into the video, right? And you can find the link. Or you can go to America. Hey. Hey. You can go to AmericanMythology.com. Why don't you tell them where to get it? No, no. I'm. No, I'm, why don't you tell them? You can go to AmericanMythology.com and look for the newest issues of the Three Stooges comic book. And you'll find me, him, and Chris. Hold on. We're just putting it in the chat. Right, is it working? Did it work? It's not working. It's not letting me. Push enter, not exit. It's not letting me put it in the chat. Oh, that's because... It won't let me put it in the chat. I don't chat. know that this, All is, right. this so might not be the official version. This is. So, if oh, you is? want, 
You go to American Mythology. America, I don't know what it's called. It's called American Mythology Production, American Mythology Comics. They do everything from the Three Stooges to Lauren Hardy to all the comics you love. They also do a lot of <laughs> other stuff that may be a little horrifying because they do horror comics too and like comedy <laughs> horror. And they also do, well, they do everything. They do Gilgood's Island. They do the Partridge Family. Do they do the Brady Book? No, they don't. Those are just the shows I used to love as a kid. So, okay, so you could go into the link in the description of the video. You could go to AmericanMythology.net slash shop. You could go to the Three Stooges Facebook. You could go to Curly G's Facebook. You can go to Andy Pagan's Facebook. You will find it. We will. I don't know why we can't put the links in this. Um, and uh, you know, I think the reason that. But here's the, here's the neat part. We're in it. No, it's a whole story about There's a whole Sun Sun Live. It's, it's a whole story that about Sun Sun Live. You guys are in it too because you're watching us in the comments. And we are, so we are opening page, and there's Curly G, Cricky D, and Andy P on Stooge Talk Live. That's all we're going to show you. We're not. Remember, we signed a contract. Oh, we did with American Mythology. Well, I didn't really sign it. It was one of those things where you you it's digital. You just tap it, and then your name comes up. Try to prove that in court, American <laughs> mythology. Anyways, we don't want to give the whole thing away, right? That would be fair. We want you guys to find it. That's It's like a treasure. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's like a meatball and moth spaghetti. She only puts one. We're all fighting for it. Next thing you know, it's just a little tick on your arm. You're like, oh, my God. You're biting into it. It's blood. Marinara all over the place. Anyways, you guys need to find this comic book. You need to buy this comic book. And you just need to show us a comic book. Everyone, Facebook, Instagram, all of it. TikTok, go there. Show that you have a comic book. And show that you love and respect the Three Stooges and Stooge Talk Live. Hi, Ma. I what forgot you, you were on Ma. I'm so sorry. Okay. Well, Ma, Ma hasn't said I love you. She's been gone a long time. Yeah, Ma, it's been a while. Usually I grow on her. Yeah, it's been a while. It's so, been a while. It's like a rash, Ma. Just well, go with you it. You guys, you guys were not around for three weeks, and I went to mess it up last week. Uh, you sure so did. That was like a month, you know. Where'd you go, Ma? Last week, it must. It had to be very important for oh, you to I, miss. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't see that that you were on. Oh, and me personally. By the time I saw it, then it was over. And I was watching, I was watching the tape, you know? Right. I, has yeah. mom been tipping yeah. the bridal lately? I mean, mom's getting a little forgetful because we were on but last then, week. So then we watched the, um. The rerun. Stooges in the fast lane. Oh, what did, so you, what did you think of the new episode of Three Stooges in the fast lane? Be honest. All of you. Be honest. Um, it, it was, it was okay. It was Okay. <laughs> I um, uh, you didn't like it, did you? Parts, I wasn't in it yeah, enough. I told, yeah, I told you I didn't like some parts of it, but um, but but people, ma, people have found like are saying this is the best one, but you don't agree. Really? Yeah. No, I don't. No, I don't agree. No, I don't. I agree. think those were stooge, curly G hater trolls that said that. Wait, is it because Brad was in it too much? Not enough. Yeah. Well, Not enough, right, Mom? It, it was weird to me that Brad was just in the closet the whole time. <laughs> well, that's my uh, life story, yeah, Mom. Yeah, like his brother. <laughs> you know, he was in the We were both in that same closet. Back. We had nothing else to do. We were locked in there for weeks. Yeah. They said you and can't then, watch the Stooges. What were we? What but, could we do except not hug each other and kiss? But Mom, we explained why he was all tied up and locked in the closet. Yeah, you explained it to me. Yeah. I, you did? Yeah. yeah. But, I, of uh, course, with my my lines, you didn't understand a thing I said because I, I do say it at the end, what happened. You do, yeah. Yeah. I think you need to give it another shot because that's a good one. I, I look at it again, of course. But I did look at I looked at my contract, Ma. I said one time can other actors come in and try to take over our show. I mean, you were willing. Oh, oh yeah. Well, yeah, because there was like, it was like a whip. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but... People People couldn't do your show. You no. guys got this down pat. People couldn't do your show. Although Pete LeBlanc says he's going to write episode four. Pete, send, it. The, send the script. Petey can do it. He's remarkable. No pay. Nobody gets paid on this show. 
Why, would, why would we make it the first? <laughs> You're not going to be the first one to get paid on the show. Uh-uh. Nobody can okay, We don't even. What? And the cop. I wasn't thrilled about the cop. Why? Why? I don't know. I It just didn't make sense to me either. That's okay. Justin. Oh, well, you've never been to Burbank. <laughs> yeah, you've never seen Justin. <laughs> Justin's the best. Yeah. Well, we hope well, you kind of liked it. Kind of. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Well, I always enjoy watching you guys. Well, that's so and, sweet. And I think all your fans enjoy watching you. I think they they, but, they have to wait months in between. Yeah, they do. But so, you didn't like Kerr and Chandler was in this one and Dermot uh, had a big... No, I liked Kerr. I liked Kerr. I liked Chandler. I was fine with that. Yeah, no, I liked that. It was a surprise <laughs> to see Chandler in it. Yeah. And it's too bad you can't get her to come... A little more often. Well, than Ma, you know, what, maybe you could text her and just guilt her into it. <laughs> Ma, you didn't find you didn't find that the the scene between your son and my cousin was a little weird. He was a creeper. He shows up in a room for gosh sake. It's a joke. Oh, it's a joke. It's not right? a true story. <laughs> yeah. You're lucky it took Jordan so long to load that 12 gauge shotgun. He was at six gauges and you were out the door. Wait, by the way, we got two lovely gifts from Christine Collins. Thank you so much. And of course, Jimmy. Thank and you, Jiminy, Christine. Jim, Jiminy, Christine, Sharu. We shirt. love what you do for us. It's a hoot. La, 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 Forget, I want to say hi to Joe Hurley and Andy Redu. Oh, okay. And okay. Jimmy and Christine. All of them. Say hi to all of them. I, I, want, to, I want to read and Jimmy's. All your fans. They're all super fans. Yeah, they all love you, Ma. Yeah, you have. Ma, your lipstick looks a little pale. You need a little blush, Ma. Oh, pale. No, go like this, Ma. Go like this. <laughs> what? Go like this. Are you watching or are you just listening? I am watching. Like this, so I can do the lipstick right. I'm an artist. I paint faces. What, Ma? You think I'm a clown? You think I'm funny, Ma? You think I'm funny? <laughs> Ma! Ma! You, you, you know what it's like to birth this kid, don't you? Ain't it funny? <laughs> Kill me now! Why? Because I can't get a word in. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> well, everyone's earbuds have blown up too. So I'm so sorry, Ma. It's time for you to talk now. Curly G has lost his mind. <laughs> it's because I wasn't in the show, Ma. I was barely in it. I was in a closet. Okay. It's got lasting effects. I've been locked up before. Fred. Yes. Fred. Yes. I'm here, Ma. What's, what's wrong with you tonight? <laughs> what's wrong with me every night, Ma? <laughs> it's <laughs> I don't have enough paint thinner, Ma. Paint thinner. My life is too thick. <laughs> oh. oh. What? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Jim Nancy says, Hi, Brad and Andy. I love you guys. Andy was so hilarious when Chandler slapped you. She will definitely inherit <laughs> acting talent from her great grandpa, Shep, or her great uncle, Mo. <laughs> yep. Indeed. Uh, I just want to I just want to say, I want to read Jimmy's comment. Hiya, pals. You guys are the best, especially Curly G. <laughs> I guess you do, Andy. Well, you know what the thing is? He's not from the East Coast. You guys are hating <laughs> on me. You and Ma. Jim, Jim, Ma, thank you. What do you do? Oh, Chandler's FaceTiming. What is she doing? She Why did she screen? grab our show? Oh, she's trying. <laughs> oh, there she is. Wait. She, hold on. Mom's Wait. on the phone. You gotta. We'll call you right back. No, no, keep her. No, but they can't see her. Oh, and they need to see her. That's the same shot. Yeah, I'm gonna show. turn around. And he's right here watching you sleep. Chandler. It's Chandler's creepy. on. Uh, what? Chandler's on the phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell her I said hi. Well, <laughs> she can hear you. Chandler, she says hi. I can't hear you. Oh, she can't hear us. 
I, oh, I just heard her. Oh, just heard her. <laughs> she can hear you. <laughs> Nobody knows that she's on. It's on my computer. It's weird. Oh, okay. 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 Well, I think it's great when all of you are together. Oh, good. Yeah, we're, we're going to call her back. We're going to FaceTime her. You want us to call you back? Yeah, you can call me back if you want. All right, we'll when, call you back. When, 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 when I leave, Ma, <laughs> okay. we'll call you back. All right, Ma, I love you. We'll call you back. All right. Okay, bye. <laughs> what is going on tonight? Ma hates me. <laughs> well, she, I mean, you can't blame her. Well, maybe, okay, maybe you guys all hate me. Maybe I should just <laughs> rip myself out of the comic. Yeah. Hello, are, are you there? <laughs> Wait, that's yeah. And, and here's Andy right above you, staring at Wait, you, just like in the episode. So my question is: Wait, why are you? If you're just laying in bed, first of all, at seven o'clock, why didn't you just come by? I'm not in bed, Andy. I'm on my couch, relaxing after a long day of work. <laughs> and she drove a long time too. Where did she drove? She drives me crazy. <laughs> just stop it. Oh, did you hear Wait, about... Wait, so why did you just come by? And by the way, did you buy your comic book? I have dinner plans. If you ever listen to anything I ever tell you, yeah. you'd know that. Yeah, I do know that. Really, but... you're a bad friend. No, you're not at dinner. You're it not at... at 7.45. That's in half hour. Is that when we're going? Andy, I have to get ready. I'm in workout clothes right now. <laughs> oh. oh, you definitely should have stopped by. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Folks, that's my cousin. I'm going to be sick or I'm going to... I'm going to kill him or make a meat of rock. <laughs> Don't talk about my cousin that way. Like, what is this rig you have going on? <laughs> this, is, this is what wait, you call. Where go? Why do uh, you wait. go on hold? Melissa's calling me because she's probably wondering where I am. Well, tell her you're going to Stooge Talk Live and come down and say hi. Look, okay. you didn't even see your Grandpa Chef's mug? I can't see anything right now but a camera lens. Oh, you there can't? Any face in this camera lens. All you see is Andy's face? Oh, oh, you're missing out. Everybody's seeing you. Kay Fabian saying, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dr. Insomnia, just make pied. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay, well, wait, wait, did you invite us to go to dinner with you? I could tell you were talking about me, so I wanted to call. Wait, were wait. you listening? No, my gut instinct. Came. It was your gut. It, it, it wasn't us. It was my mom. She was like, she liked you. And the, the, she's the, like, I like when you guys are all together. Chandler should be with life. you guys more. We said, well, guilt her into it. <laughs> Sounds like that didn't happen. Nope. Let me paint an, oh. let me paint another picture for you, cuz. <laughs> what really happened was she was disgusted by me from the second I opened my mouth. And she says, Where's Chandler? Chandler, did you order a comic book or no? Anyway, it's Taylor Swift album release night. So that's where I am tonight. It's I'm it's the three stooges. It's the Stooge Talk Live. Three Stooges comic book release night. Chan Chan, I'm putting a little blush on you. You get you ready for the big night at the dinner. What kind of food are we having? We have an Indian? I know you like the terrible Sioux. Ma! What? Shut up! Go ahead. So now your family hates me. My family hates me. My audience that used to love me hates me. Now all I have is a lot of hate. You know what hate is backwards? Hate it. Hate it. You know what that is for? It's love. Go ahead. Okay, well, I'm going to leave you guys to it. I'm going to go to dinner and listen to Taylor Swift and then I'll have a lovely evening. I can't I kind of can't believe that you're not celebrating our Stooge Talk Live a Three Stooges comic release party. Technically, the comic came out yesterday, so you're late. So no, that um, you're thinking of East Coast time. I only like previewed no, the first page. It came out yesterday. It was in the mailboxes yesterday. We, we got it in the mailbox today, and today Sounds is Stooges. Like a you problem. <laughs> 
Oh. Can you? I already got my comic book, and I got it yesterday. Oh, show us. Show us. It's over there. Go get it. No, show us your tattoo. You got a comic book on your arm. Listen, I have mine delivered on time, so technically you're delinquent and delayed. Can you show us? Old news, Pagana. Old news. (laughs) Hey, cuz, can can I do a little, a little, a little a game with words? You know what no. pull is backwards? No. Loop! <laughs> oh, cuz! Well, with that, I'm going to leave you with your jokes because you just seem like you have enough to talk about just with you. All right, where are we going to dinner? Indian? Yeah, I'll meet you at Indian. Come on, where are you going? You're not telling us? I can't tell the internet. Why not? They'll all show up. I'm they- going to dinner. All right, fine. <sighs> oh, look how pretty I look. Does he look gorgeous? Okay, goodbye. Bye, Chandler. We love you. Love you. <laughs> Maybe some other my my other student family might call. <laughs> oh, wait, she's still here. She looks even better than she did before. Look at the blush. I made her look like a princess. Princess of the night. <laughs> it's changing lovers. Princess of the night. Hey, look. It's Shemp. Oh, oh. All right, we gotta call mom back. Okay, <laughs> this time, folks, I'm not gonna say a word, and that's gonna be difficult. So, what I need you guys to do is like, is this the worst two keep... talk live ever? No, no, it's the best. <laughs> keep telling me to. Hello. Hi, ma. Hi, we're you calling me again now? Yeah, we said we'd call you back. All right, am I talking? Yeah, you're on live. Okay, okay. Now, Daddy just told me, uh, Sue who? Emily Turner. Yeah. Uh, would like to have my lasagna recipe. Oh. I don't know how I could give that to her. Type it in the comments. Oh, my phone will let me do it. <laughs> Message it to us. We'll put it in the description of the videos. Right? I said, send it to me and we'll put it in the description of the videos. What's the matter? All right. So, send you my recipe? Yes. Well, it's not going to happen right now. Well, why not? Emily's waiting. She's hungry. She's hungry? Yeah. Well, I don't think she's making it right now. But Well, not if she don't get the recipe. Come on, Mom. Right? <laughs> well, I, I, I'd be happy to send it to her. All right. Send it our way. We're going to put it in the description of the videos. All right. Okay. All right. I'll send it to you. Mom, what? So I'm going to um, text it to you? <laughs> no, email it. I'll email it. Email oh, it. Right. Okay. Okay, Ma. All right. So your books are wonderful. You like it? You did a nice job. I do like them. I do like them. I want to sit down... Uh, comfortably and read them. I didn't get a chance to do that. Okay. But but the artwork is great, and I I just want to read the content. You, you know, I I wrote the I wrote the the first story. Okay. Yeah. I I know. I saw something that you wrote it. I saw in writing that you wrote. On I didn't I didn't think you wrote the whole thing. No, I, I just wrote our I wrote the Stooge Talk live story. Okay. All right. You wrote that one? Yep. Okay. Now, is this, is how many comic books are going to be coming out? Well, I mean, this is just one issue, but it's got five different covers. Let's show all the covers. So we got this one that I did the artwork for, this one with us on it. And then there, I think there's another one. There's this one, 100th Centennial, which everybody keeps saying 100th Centennial, but I'm not sure on what. Uh, And then this one, another 100th. And I think there's one more. Go ahead. Brad wants to talk. Brad's afraid to talk, Ma. Why? Because you scared him. I didn't scare him. <laughs> what I do didn't... you want? You're bending the comic. That was mid condition. So there's four comic books now? Well, it's one comic book, but it's got four or five different covers. Oh, oh, I see. I see. The inside is the same, the outside is different. Yes. That's right. Okay. Okay. 
how come you don't make them where the inside is different too? <laughs> hey, that's got- where I draw the line, Ma. <laughs> okay, I can only stay silent for so long, Ma. It's like, all I can say is, this whole conversation without me saying anything, it's been like dead space. It's like... Space between this ear and this ear, just a bird cage with no bird at all. I can't stand it. I don't think the fans can either. Okay, Ma, I'm gonna go another five minutes without talking. So it's not up to us. It's not up to us. It's up to the comic book people. But I think putting together the inside of a comic book is a lot of time and expense. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. So we hope to cameo in the future and write some more. We have neither time or expenses. <laughs> yeah, we got nothing. <laughs> Are you gonna do fever tonight? Brad? No, he's Ma, no. You, Ma, you killed my vibe. I was disrespectful. I should have let you talk for 30 minutes straight. And then maybe I could have said, hi, Ma. Ma. <laughs> it's okay, Ma. I know it's it's kind of, I grow on you for a while and then you get used to it. And then I just like, out of the blue, I just have like paint chips in my eye. Well, I just didn't want to hear somebody say, how come you're not talking? Well, I couldn't talk. I, I couldn't talk over Well, no, the thing is, Ma, I've been looking at the comments. We gave you at least three minutes straight, and most of them left. I love you, Ma, and I love Pa, too. You know what Pa's name is backwards? Well, ain't it a doozy. Uh, pa, his name is App backwards. Very well said. Can you say that in Pig Latin? <laughs> Oh, yes, this is going down as one of the worst shows ever. <laughs> Not because of you, Ma. It's because of our, okay. our hosting. Okay, Ma. Yeah, we better right. go before we lose our fan base. Uh, congratulations oh. on the comic yeah. book. Oh, Thank you. Book. Thank I you. Hope you get, I hope you get a lot of sales. Yeah. I mean, we hope it, we get nothing out of it other than the joy of spreading the stooges. No, so, we'll be, yeah, we'll, I know. Yeah. You know, we'll be at a diner somewhere. We'll just be eating our corny fashion eggs. Someone's going to go like this. Excuse me. Were you in the Three Stooges comic book? <laughs> that's that's the gratitude. That's what we... So all we need is someone to appreciate us. Okay, Ma, we love you. I love you, too. We'll talk I love to you, too. Three. Talk to you next Thursday. It was good talking to you, Fred. <laughs> Ma, I'm sure I'm going to get a text later. That's not what you're thinking, but you're very smart. You're like me. You refrain from saying anything bad. Oh, oh, but no, I, do. I love I you more, me. Ma, and I love Pa, too. Oh, thanks. Everyone, okay, Ma, we love you. Everyone say bye to Ma. All right. Good night now. Good night. Good night. Good night, fans. Good night, all your fans. Keep watching. Hey, Ma. Do you think we should do a, a T-shirt with your face on it for the fans? No. Why not? No. no, 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 no. We should do one for the fans. They want to wear a T-shirt with Ma Pagana on it. Yeah, you could write my name on it, not my face. <laughs> oh, All right, we'll talk. Yeah, that'll be a lot cheaper to we'll, do anyways. We'll negotiate. I'll negotiate with your uh, agents. Five Pa Stooges. Okay, we love you. Love you. I Bye, Ma. You. Bye. Good night. Bye. Night night, Mama. Night night. Oh, we need Mama, good night night. Mama, take hello. Mama, take little Blakey and lay down and go night night. And never call again if you don't have anything to say good about Curly G. <laughs> so thank you, Shoe Bra. Thank you. We do you, not Sue. need to special thanks. Oh, no, no, we no. We love you so much. You do so much for us, Sue. But thank you. Uh, That's so sweet. We got to get, we got to get Sue on for sure. Although, okay, so the other the other thing is, I talked to Kurt and I said, "Hey, if you want to get a bunch of for shop knuckleheads, we will sign them for nothing, and then yeah. the fans can get autograph copies." Why wouldn't we do a comic book signing event where people come up to us with their comic books and we sign it, just like misery? And then we're in a car and some crazy fan who fucks me off on the road and then hits me with a club in my foot. Bang, bang, bang. But my head's still, it's still going. I keep talking. to make that video. <laughs> it's misery. You play both characters. You play the crazy fan lady and you play. <laughs> yeah. And then I drive. I to break your foot. No. And it no, no. It it's like, the, back and yeah, it's like this. I drive the patient so <laughs> crazy with my obnoxiousness he takes the the hammer and clubs his own feet just to get out of life <laughs> let me paint this picture uh jim nothing oh we beat you jim he says please say something you look like you're about to explode that's when you're holding it in 
The mug on that face was a oh I, I lost it. It just shot up. Uh, Sarah Alexia Starr. Greetings from Rhode Island. Oh, oh. all right. <laughs> oh, here you go. I love Rhode Island. You guys are the best. Thank you. Question. That's so sweet. This is this is a this is a long question. She deserves it. And by She's the way, this Island. is her fifth super on the live stream. Whoa, thank Woo. you. Thank you. Uh, how do the Stooges influence you in everyday life? <laughs> oh my God. Wow. I mean, I mean, your present life is nothing but it's Stooges. nothing but Stooges. I and mean, then when you were a kid, when Grandpa showed you the Stooges when you were eight or something. Yeah. Well, seven. wait. So we, let's start with you. How How about you? I <laughs> wasn't told as a child until I was like six or seven. So I was a Stooge fan, as some of you know. But even when it was suppressed and I wasn't allowed to talk about it because there was a lot of litigation and stuff going on, I I won. Class clown, space case, most unlikely to succeed every year of my life. So I knew that there was something very special about me. And then, well, 30 years later, I'm going to Stooge conventions, meeting the fans. What are you talking about? Your everyday life right now. Well, I was talking about my pre-life when I was just a kid. I was premature. <laughs> I didn't like coffee. Anyways, now it's all about the Stooges. <laughs> I mean, I do work an eight-hour day, and that's not funny at all. But right. then when I come home, we're we're answering emails, fan mail. We're talking to you. We have a show. We have shows. Yeah, we got this a lot of stuff great. that you guys don't see that we're working on. Yeah, yeah. so it's really transformed. Any free time I have is all Stooges. <laughs> yes. In fact, my wife and the divorce attorney are talking about that right now. <laughs> Mrs. G, maybe Mrs. XG? XG. <laughs> no, she loves me. She loves me, especially in the morning. I say the darndest things. Okay. Uh, before I answer, just pop it in quick from Honor Guard DC. Have a schedule conflict that Thursdays now. Oh. oh, looks like we'll have to do another night too. So no lie from me. We're going to miss you. But you always have you in mind that this time each week and enjoy the replay. Good. As long oh. as you're watching the replay. And thank you for joining us. So, I mean, Three Stooges for me, it has now become my full-time job. Mm. I now officially work for the Three Stooges, right? Yeah. So... And I get to, I, so I was talking about this. I get to design some fun stuff. Like I designed this mug last week. <laughs> that was weird. What just shot oh, you got it in the comic book. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you flinched. And I didn't get to hit it you. It was not a flinch. I was trying to say the So, comic like, book. I get to design. So, this is available on the Free Stooges Plus YouTube. They're a little expensive, I think, but it's it's not no fault of anybody's. It's well worth other it. Than you know the people who make it, not us. But and then I designed a little mug. You guys saw last week we did. Oh, and I got this <gasps> tote bag. I got a tote bag. By the way, I bought all this. I designed it, then I had to buy it. Do you know in California but you can steal nine hundred ninety nine dollars and you won't even get a, a felony? It's just a misdemeanor. <laughs> so you can steal all you want. The three stooges bag. You'll go to jail for two seconds. You'll get out, and they'll give you the stuff. <laughs> Woo! What a town! I, and I did this because I've always wanted more Shemp stuff, and I've always loved these drawings from the original. 50s comic book by Norman Mauer. Yeah, he's the best. Right, so I designed these. Well, that's great. Yep. Um, but I'm Stooges all day long now. I mean, all first of all, just meeting you and meeting Dermic and Chandler and Kirk. 2012 changed our lives. It did, right? So me. just because, so just my personal relationships outside of, because we don't always talk Stooges. No, we we hang out. We're pals, right? right? And same thing with me and Chandler, who we. we uh, hang out all the time, her and her husband and Kurt. I was talking with Kurt today and Dermot yeah. and I, have like we've all become really good pals outside of the Stooges. So it's changed my life in that way. Um, but it, for me, it's Stooges. Oh, it's all day yeah. long. How Sometimes, if we're, I, yeah, I was going to say for good or for bad, but there's not much bad. It's no, I, I think the only thing is it, it does take time away from, there are other things that, that we want to do. We've talked about doing, but you know, I think that's with anything. Well, you like, weren't you weren't built for the office environment. No, but you've la no. I mean, you've lasted that's and done, part. and he's done such a great job, folks. If you look it's been at almost a year, if you look at the social media uh, sites prior to Andy, they were they were kind of lacking, and that's why they wanted to hire the best. And the numbers in the last year of like I I don't even know what the word would be called. It's not even quadruple. He'd say dibble. It's less like. 
million percent on some of this stuff. Yeah. It's increased because that's why you're worn out. I mean, it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. And you know, you and, you, and there are bosses, right? You don't like, he doesn't like to be told what to do. Folks. <laughs> no, I sure not. Yeah. That's why I had to get my cheeks rebuilt. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. And it's just like, and, and so, but I get to do fun stuff. Like I get the program marathons and, and I put up stooge uh, cartoons yesterday that I, I did my best to restore. Right. I paint the three stooges. We talk three stooges and, and even before all that, I mean, I just, I think the stooges are so ingrained in me that I naturally without thinking about it, I just, I'll talk like that. If I'm home alone and cleaning something, I'll be like, it. <laughs> and not even consciously do it. Right. Um, there's stuff that Shem does. And actually I've done this too. You, you're really good at it, but like, <laughs> you know, Shem oh, yeah. the comics, yeah. you know, there's just these things and Mo, you know, imitating Mo. And like, I, I don't know. It's just, it's, the Stooges are an absolute constant. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. I need some black paint. Hey, we got a serious thing here, guys. We do? We do. Brett Hess, what the heck? What did it's Brett good say? to be alive. Yes, it is. Oh, yes. My friend. I nearly checked out in February. It really sucked. It's still sick. Okay. One day at a time, Stooges forever. Brett, you need more laughter. Oh, more laughter. Oh, come on, help me oh. out. Laughter. Oh, 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 oh. 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 hey, knock it off. Oh. Otherwise, I'll be sitting next to him. <laughs> but that's okay. We talked. Oh, prayers. Yeah, for Brett. My everybody, God, in Stooge like Nation. Everyone, put out prayers. In fact, let's say prayers for everybody that is hurting. Anyone that isn't whole, let's make them whole, and let's. Ask God to. That's all we can ask. We love it. We, we love you. Yes. Thank you. We hope you get better. Heal up. Brett. Stick around. We need you. We yeah. need you. Uh, we got a couple other things. Uh, Andy Redu said, Andy, what did you say? You're lonely? What happened here? I just oh, saw. Man. Uh, He's missing Chandler. I don't see where he went. He's these goes by so fast for us. Guess I'm not worried that they're not seeing my messages. What happened? What messages? Um, it is a dream job working for the Stooges. It's a lot of fun. Awesome Stooges t-shirts. And this one came from Jimmy. Sent me this one. That one came from C3, I think. Yeah. That was usually Dermic wears this. And I miss, Dermic. We miss Dermic, but it's like he's here. Look. Whoa. Dreamy. Dreamy. Hey. You know what I got here? I hailed a taxi. <laughs> It could be any worse. <laughs> well, Wait, no, I don't that was that was I don't that was the joke after. backwards. No, it's yeah. What? Deborah, hello Andy. When are you gonna do the Joe Besser and Joe Dorita paintings? Uh honestly, I gotta get back to fit. I started a Molari and Shemp one a while back, and I, I feel like it's the only painting in my life that I started and bailed on because it's it wasn't it, coming out right. It has to be right, and I have to fix it. So I'm not doing. I'm not moving on to Joe and Curly Joe until then. But we'll get. Well, we'll why get don't we take a page out of the comic book and just so you can redo it? I'll bring it here and trip to go show the fans, <laughs> and then your head breaks through it, and then you can start over. <laughs> he's now still, we're He's still supposed to paint Curly G. Oh, but not in the buff. Oh, we do. I well, I painted a couple. No, we got that one. But we're supposed to. It's a whole video where I can't sit still. Oh I, yeah, could, right. Could you Here imagine me sitting still for? Just think of me on the Titanic with my. Red Ruby. Oh, Jack. No, Jack. Jack, come back. Oh, Jack. Jack, come back. Jack. No, Jack, get back here. I won't pay you. I don't know what's happening. Uh, that was too standard. <laughs> Andy Redu says he feels lonely that they don't see me. Who don't see you? We see you. No. Slowly we saw you. Slowly. Uh, wait. What? Oh, I no. To, I'm yeah, I, I'm mad at somebody out no, there. No, no, KJ. Uh, yeah, I'm mad at KJ. <laughs> Kia Julian. Kia Julian. Don't do this. She posted something on. <laughs> I'm against it. Curly grandson's corner, where yeah. she got an autograph. I met her at a 
a, 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 an autograph signing. It was an autograph signing session. There was all kinds of stars from Bill House on the Prairie, from all kinds of stuff. It's all kinds of stuff. In, only one person came in to see me. Now, the, mind you, there wasn't a lot of people, so this could have been a 25% share of the, the show, and these were big stars. But she came in and she goes, well, there's no advertising for the show. Well, that's what it was. Yeah, there was no yeah, advertising for this show. But at she all. came in and I, uh, she goes, hi. She goes, my name's Kia. Um, I came here just to see you, Curly G. And I was like, <laughs> I think oh it's my super God. sweet. Yeah, it was so super sweet. She was so nice, and she, she posted that I, I signed her an autograph, and she posted, and and she said something that my wife and I are still fighting about today. Is she said Curly G was super hot. I know. That's I'm annoyed at. Don't say things like that. No. Even if you mean it. No, please keep saying them. <laughs> we don't need to inflate them anymore. No, because I just called my wife and she's cooking me dinner. She hasn't cooked for me in weeks. Everyone needs to say that I'm hot. But thank you so much. I was so kind. I mean, she said a lot of nice things. I, I was a nice guy. I was very kind and all that. But that super hot thing, boy, that made me feel good. Yeah. And it has to do it's with sweet. drinking Brito. Because it makes old bodies new and hot again. <laughs> Kenny Wagner says, haven't seen Stooge live in a while. Just going to bed early. Oh, he must be on the East Coast. <laughs> Maybe. It's, we can't do it any earlier. Just because by the time you get out of work and I get out of work, we get here and set up. Yeah, but what if he's from Australia and he's already seen us? Australia. Jessica Mendoza's turning 17. Again? What is it, her birthday in two days? I don't even know if this show is appropriate for people under 21. <gasps> Jessica, how could you? Now grow up. <laughs> Wake up and go to sleep. Uh, Dermot got recognized, he told me. He was doing his thing over at Universal, and some guy in the crew was like, hey, Stu, Stu, Stu stop. Live. <laughs> wow, we're infamous. We're almost famous. I've never, wow. I've never been recognized from it. I've never been recognized. That's because only half your body shows up on the camera. I told you, Andy, you need to start juicing and not eating the whole tree. Juicing the actual fruit. I was thinking about doing uh, what's this carnivore diet? Just all meat. <laughs> again and again and again. So there's not one living at all. Oh, Toma recognizes me. <laughs> oh, so did Louise. Oh. To Brighto. <laughs> and to the best fans in the world, we love you. Do you poop at our parties? No. When, Do you drink even, coffee that tastes even, like mud? You keep doing well, you that. need it's, a good cup of not, Three Stooges coffee. It's not even a Stooge reference. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Although she did work with the Stooges once. The Three Stooges says like mud <laughs> was on. All right, wait. When did you? When did Lucy Ball work with the Stooges? That's not. <laughs> that's the poop at a party. You know? Yes. When? 1943. <laughs> right after the Big Depression. This should be the one you remember. Well, one of them. Well, I remember it because I, she, Larry, she was with Larry and she was just sitting and he was, oh. she was all dolled up in her little football uniform. <laughs> oh, you little, do, little you pig do skins, remember. Three oh. little pigskins. Oh. oh, yeah, folks. Wait, how are you cheating? No. How are you cheating? Last week I knew 10 of it, 10 out of 10. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, what is going on? <laughs> wow. It, we were talking about that. <laughs> Stu just kind of grows on well, you. The, the worst is Brad. The worst, the best. I don't know what it, bet anymore. Brad shows up. He goes, all right, I got ideas. I'm going to be painting this. We got to print a copy of this. He goes, let's do some this and this and this. So I'm like, it's all about the production, <laughs> folks. We want to. We want you to stick around. Oh, yeah. You really you really were trying to put an effort. <laughs> yeah. And you, you really bore it out of me, Should you we, big bore. So now, Saturday... We're, we're celebrating. We're celebrating. Oh, it's kind of a. It's well, not. It's late. It's not belated. It got put off. We got our, rained our out. Party got rained out. But we're celebrating Kurt's fiftieth birthday. Kurt Lamont, the great grandson, great great grandson of Larry Fine. Which one? The great great grandson <laughs> of Larry Fine. <laughs> well, if you've got it wrong, too, you called him the great grandson in a couple things you narrated. He is the great grandson. Oh. <laughs> I know, I mean, you, I mean, he's great. Okay, he's swell. Anyways, it's his 50th birthday. We're going to the racetrack. And Dermot will be there. Dermot will be there. And we're going to be in... Uh... Shh, no, that's his face. Oh, oh yeah. Shh, never mind. We might go Ixnay in the Stooge Gay outfit says. But what about Stooge references when there was horses, cowboys, or racetracks? Can anyone name any 
two shorts that had any reference to the racetrack? Oh, yeah. There was the racetrack one. And then there's horse collars, which is the cowboy one. I was asking, I was asking oh, the fans. I'm sorry. Uh, Studington asked about the Hollywood Museum event. That is coming up. We're working on that now. We're pulling. Yeah. Are you you're putting stuff in, yeah. right? Yeah, we're pu putting and in artifacts. May, maybe I think. I think third week of May yeah. we go live, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have a big opening night. And then we have to show up every weekend. We do. Maybe we show up every Thursday and go live from our. Exhibit. I bet we could. Yes. Look, I again. bet we could. The wheels in my head keep on turning. I don't know what will come tomorrow. Wait, Jessica Mendoza. It's Where? her birthday again? She's coming. No, it's Saturday. Where's the racetrack? <laughs> Let her come. Santa Anita. Is it Santa Anita? It's Santa Anita racetrack. And you don't, you're going to find us. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, you'll find us. I'm not even allowed to go there. I can't tell the story. <laughs> Wait, is this true? Yeah. Curly G, Curly G, many years ago, his first time at the racetrack, I got kicked out by 12. The first race was, I think, at one or something. Okay. I had a little too much Brido, and this guy kept looking at me. And finally, I said, Quit looking at me. What are you looking at, stupid? And then once my, my vision cleared, I realized that it was an ossifer. <laughs> And then the Oscar came over and grabbed me by my collar. No, wait, they, really? Yeah, and they it locked was a cop? me up. It was a cop. He was a security guard, but then he got on his walkie-talkie <laughs> like they do and called the real cops. And then they took me downstairs and they roughed me up. And really, she didn't like that. I was a little more crazy back then. <laughs> so next thing you know, they were shipping me off to Santa Anita Jail. <laughs> wait, this is true? Oh, it's true. You got arrested. <laughs> oh, I not only got arrested. <laughs> How many times have you been arrested? That's not... How many times? I want to tell this story. <laughs> Anyways, I, I drove like six people. And now fast forward till five o'clock when the race is ended at four. There's not anyone in the, the parking lot except for my car and my five friends are going, where's Curly G? Where's Brad? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, and they had to call someone else to pick me up. And she had the bright idea to say, maybe we should go to the police station and see if he's there. <laughs> and there I was covered in, in bruises and in dirt. Because they beat me up bad, but I was bad. And when they gave me my belongings, they said two things. Don't ever come back to Santa Anita Racetrack. In fact, don't ever come back to our city of Santa Anita. I was kicked out of a city. <laughs> That's freaking amazing. <laughs> Did you tell them who you were? No, back then that wasn't a thing. It wasn't. I just wanted them to think I was crazy. Was this the 80s? No, this was the 90s. Oh. This was in my 20s. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. And we can talk about other events that I've, I've actually been kicked out of, just <laughs> while we're on the topic. I've been kicked out of multiple I've establishments seen, I've been, and sporting events. I've been with you with a lot of places where I wish you had gotten kicked out of. <laughs> Any voice, folks. Sporting events. Three sporting events. Two of them were the biggest comebacks in L.A. history. A Laker game, biggest comeback in the fourth period. I was kicked out at halftime. And then the L.A. Kings doing came what? back. The L.A. Kings doing what? Uh, the Laker <laughs> game, I was I was fighting my brother-in-law. Well, my brother-in-law was hitting me because I was really bad. In the VIP section, too. Was he hitting like, you like a stoop? No, no, no. Like tackling me on the ground, and then I went crazy. But I loved it. <laughs> I deserved it, Hillary. You had absolutely right. Wait, but, Hillary did this? Oh yeah. <laughs> I was smack. I was in the back seat. He hit all drunk, hitting him and stuff. I mean, not drunk. I was, you know. <laughs> and then the Dodger game. Oh, it's the Dodgers. I'm sorry. It's pretty much all of LA sporting events I've been kicked out of, <laughs> but only one city, folks. Here's the thing. I bet this is a hundred percent true. I've been out with him. Well, why would I make that? Too much Brito. <laughs> who makes this stuff up? The fact is that I need to go incognito. I only need to go in incognito You're Saturday. A big mustache. I know what you could dress like. Yeah. I'm <laughs> thinking I dress like him, but you guys don't dress like the other ones. Right. I dress like that normally. Oh. You might have to shave my head tonight. Anyways, that's my story, folks. And we, you know what? I should have my own channel and just be real with you. What was Curly G like as a kid? What was Curly G like <laughs> as a teenager? What was Curly G like in his 20s, 30s, 40s? And now we do need to do a 50s. book or an audio book, a documentary or something, because you'll never write. I would have to do. I would have to write it for you. Do you have to be able to read to write? 
Can I just talk? Jimmy says, Andy, you are the best, pal. Yeah. Thanks, Jimmy. Oh, <laughs> oh my Schnauzerowski. I love you guys so That's much. That's so sweet. Thanks, Jimmy. I framed my signed photo that you guys sent me hanging on my wall. Take a picture. We want to see it. And Lori. What the heck? What is she saying there? She rebooked, for when she rebooked my L.A. trip and will be out next month to check out the museum. Also, laugh so hard tonight that I need extra blood pressure pill. And I'm not bad about it. Woo! Well, All that's right. sweet. But And let's make sure that we get a refundable. Everyone get a refundable ticket just in case. Oh, we leave L.A.? No, no. Oh, well, no, in case. What if they're late? They said late May. What if it goes into June? We don't want people flying out. We want uh, a hard day. We want yeah, to get to a hard day yet. That's pretty that hard. That's true. It's kind of, it's kind of like my wife's Jello. It's jiggling, right? It's not quite set. <laughs> oh no, that's her brisket. That's really sad. It tastes like a <laughs> shoe. It know tastes like leather. What you're talking about, <laughs> Mrs. G? Man, she's a looker, but she ain't no cooker. <laughs> oh my god, she could be watching. Trust me, she's I'm not, not watching. gonna eat for weeks she, again. She's not watching. <laughs> Oh, she hates both of us. <laughs> Cheers. She, she ignores this part of your life. <laughs> Speaking of, what are we going to get Lizzie on here? What are we gonna Lizzie, get when she comes back, she's on a trip right now. What trip is she on? She's tripping. <laughs> she ain't on the shows. No, she's uh, with her friends. She's oh, yeah. a lot of friends. I think I knew that. Yeah. Oh, speaking of, uh, speaking of daughters, I don't have one, but I have a niece. Isabella Pagana. Oh. Or Isa Pagana, I-S-A. There's a she's got a new song out, and I put the link oh, in yeah. the description of this you video. Put it, you put it on social media, and, and everyone I did, loved it. I did, it's a great song, it's pretty darn we're, good. We're trying to get her to a thousand listens okay. on Spotify. Why can't she be on American Idol? I don't know anything about America or the voice. I do, I know everything about it. That's the show, <laughs> all these shows I've never been on. You know why? Because I ain't got no talents. I ain't got no friends. Oh, no, I ain't no. got no more bride. Oh, so this video ends. No. no. So Jessica asked what racetrack in Santa Anita. Now I'm all. Okay. <laughs> I'm all. Remember. Jessica. She's only 17. <laughs> Let me spell it out for you. We love you, Jessica. But come on. <laughs> There's the Kentucky Derby. And we know what state it's in, right? <laughs> Jessica? Kentucky. Blue moon of Kentucky. Keep on shining. And there's the Santa Anita racetrack in? Mexico. Correct. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Jessica, brilliant. It's in Santa Anita, Mexico. <laughs> also in Santa Anita, California. Look it up. Yeah. 93245. Come, come celebrate with us. Well, Speaking of zip codes, Arcadia. have you sent anything to our P.O. box? Oh, Sue just posted the P.O. box. See? P.O. box 6852 Burbank, California, 91510. We know Dermic. Uh, he's the only one with the key. And he hasn't been in a while, but I'm, there's probably a bunch of stuff. You guys are the best. Oh, yeah. He sent something today, but I didn't read it. It wasn't addressed to me. It was addressed to you and him. So I'm not reading it. No, that I'm is not so reading rude. It. No. It's not rude. It's not. It right. was. It was. I'm a, not reading it. It was about to an, Chris and Brad because it was about the okay. episode you weren't in. Hey, 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 you know what? That's okay. It's super okay. fan. It's okay. Super. I have my own fan. And somebody emailed me. Right? my heart. <laughs> Dermic and I will read that letter. In fact, we'll read it when Andy's in the bathroom choking <laughs> on his pride because that's exactly what he's doing right now, folks. Do you see what we're dealing with? Do you understand why work is so hard for him? Because he can't take direction. He can't even let someone else have an idea. Anyways. Well, yes, <laughs> we'll read that. And Jessica, Santa Anita, California. We are love to see you. And noonish, one-ish. Message me. You have yeah, my messenger. Message me when you're in an hour out, and we will find you and let you know where we're at. And all of you guys. It's a big party. All of you come. Now, I'm not telling all of you to spend any money because we know. Well, we're not. It's very it's very difficult these times. So rob people. anyone that's in the Santa Anita area that's watching this show, can you pick up our friends in the United States, all over the United <laughs> States, and bring them? Thank you so much. We appreciate the effort. We'll get you one of those Three Stooges buttons. And and I was telling Brad before, <laughs> before we started this show... By the way, thank you guys. All your super chats are extremely helpful. 
And not only that, just the support, just the commenting, the liking, the subscribing, ringing the bell so you know we get notifications, but sharing the Stooge Talk Live. But so I dropped off. Uh, we got some film a while back. It's a 35 millimeter copy yeah. of a Three Stooges film, um, the, the Three Stooges scrapbook. Ooh. Dermot shelled out the money to buy it, and I dropped it off. <laughs> And I got to go pay for it tomorrow. Oh. So, so we're trying to bring this to you guys. And uh, you guys are helping bring that oh, to boy, the they channel. Are. Yes. That, this is gonna, tonight's going to help that tremendously. We want to do more stuff like this. We got more stuff coming. We, we got home movies of the Stooges coming. We got more interviews coming. Uh, there's a lot coming. Unfortunately, it takes a lot of time. It's not all. Our, a lot of it's not our fault how, much, how long it takes. Some of it is. Like the stuff that we it's do. It's my fault. Well, no, like, well, well no, you the stuff it, that we're getting out. He's made it very clear. There's a lot of stuff that's in the can. You know what the can is, man? The can oh, yeah. is the hard drives. We have a lot of stuff that we shot. And Andy has been very particular. Well, if you want it oh, we edited, can, you know, then you can yeah. come over and well, spend because some he's time. Just like, he's just like, he's out. I just show up on he's, Thursdays, he's partying. right? Yeah, he's out like going to Palm Springs, hanging out with his wife, traveling. Oh, Andy, stay home and work. I'm oh, going Andy. to doctors. I'm not traveling. <laughs> Okay, I'm a traveling why, doctor. Why don't you get this edit? I'm like, oh, okay. Hey, why don't you come shit with me one end? Okay, well, see. so when yeah. we end, when what? Why don't we do this? When we end this show, yes. Or let's start when we end the show, and then let's start early Saturday before we go to Kurt's birthday. And why don't we edit and try to finish the Moe's Cemetery video? Yes. By the way, I've been working on. It. Okay. Well, you need my. You need me to at least put in thirty seconds for you to at least feel good about this. <laughs> Well, you were past couple of weeks. I'll give you a pass. Past couple of weeks. I'll give you a pass. It's been a couple of months, yeah. just so you know. But the problem is, it's like here's the here's the thing with Brad. He's always got something going on, and, and it always sounds. Mean, oh, I broke my back. Oh, okay, here we go, Brad. Okay. Oh, my house burned down. Oh, okay, Brad. Okay, it's always like that's something. That's something going and it's on. Always a catastrophe that after a while you're just like. Is this really happening? Am I? Do I really believe? Can you, can you give me some more, Brad? I'm. I can't even believe that you folks even are <laughs> anywhere even interested in my life story. I think you're not. I think the more I listen to Andy, I think it's really just about like you look through me and then you think of the Three Stooges and you think of Curly and Mo and Larry and Champ There's and no Brad Joe's. There's no Brad left. No, you finished then it. Then my story it never ends. So. Do you look through me? Is I mean, I, am I that transparent? What are you talking Do you about? not think of me as an individual, <laughs> as Bradley David Server, born 1965 to Marilyn and Haskell H. Server? <laughs> well, you should. <laughs> that was your dad's name. <laughs> wow, dare you laugh? <laughs> See, folks. <laughs> That's the girl. That's like a, a the girls called him Hal. It was Hal for short. That's like oh, sure. okay. That's like a Luke Costello movie name. Oh, a Tesco server and that's right, Chip Chickbowitz. That's right. He was classy and actually he kept a job for and a career for a lot more than you tried. Okay, and he supported us as three kids with my mom as well, working hard to put clothes on my back. Not to mention the hair. I got it from Maine. Was it a Maine or was it? I don't know where it was from, but it's a strip on my back. Anyways, you're a jerk. But folks, thank you so much for, for seeing me who I am. So don't forget, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the little bell. Because, by the way, we're in this. We're in this we're, It's not just one page. We can only, show, by, by law, we can only show you the one. Oh, you're showing more than one page. I want to look. How many pages are we in? Count them. Eight. I, I wrote Eight them. I wrote them. And you know, the other thing is like, they were all like given, oh, written by Curly G, Andy P, Ricky D. Hey, I nobody. Know why you asked. We didn't write anything. <laughs> well, hey, we nobody, we everyone was like, oh, it looks good to me. Looks good to me. Nobody was like, hey, first, you're giving don't... me credit for something I didn't do. First of all, I don't <laughs> read. I look at the pictures just like, well, you know, the forum for all you uh, men over 40. There used to be a forum where you just read the stories, and well, but I imagine the pictures. Oh, I don't read. Okay. Oh, Anyways, <laughs> folks, I mean, it's obvious that Annie and I, our relationship is a little strange. 
right? I mean, yeah. we're growing apart. I think we're going apart. Oh no, no, I, I think, and I think we need our fan base and the fans that love the studios to make us gel. I mean, maybe it's we need Dermic here to stop us both. But I, I just want to tell you, this has been an amazing run. But the run ain't over. It's a marathon, folks. We're going to be around for week after week after week. 52 Thursdays. For we're the open. rest of our lives. You know, I might miss a few. I might, you know. I feel like Dermot's going to outlive both of us. I might fall down the <laughs> stairs. I might get hit by a golf ball. I might have a brain tumor. I might get, you know, <laughs> diplipia. But you know what? I still show up. I always come back for you, the fans that adore the Stooges. Thank you so much. Thank you. I don't know how much the mugs are. Somebody asked me how much the ship mugs are. I don't know, but you can find them on Three Stooges Plus YouTube. These are on ours. Uh, the Balloon Man from Spooks. Spook Louder. The... Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, he needs to get some rest, folks. It's Anyways. Been, it's been a long life. Maybe it'll be a rest home. We love you. We love you. Keep the Stooges... Get a comic book. Alive. Get if you the like, comic books before yeah, they're gone. And, and tell, take pictures of us. Yeah. Take pictures of us. Post it on of us. Facebook, no. Instagram. Take pictures of you with it. Yeah. And we'll share them. And I'll share them on the official Three Stooges social media. Yeah. Because I can. There's millions got of followers. 1.8 million followers. They'll be bigger than Andy. And we got a new fast lane. A couple new fast lanes in production. Yeah. And I star in all of them. And you got a great Just, idea tonight. Oh, you yeah. got a great idea tonight. So you're going to give me like one day to prepare. Oh. Because playing the ponies takes place as a racetrack. And we're going to a racetrack, so why not shoot? So if I, get, if I get ready for tomorrow, uh, and you, me, and Dermot could, could do a little shooting. Did you remember the ponies on the stick? As a kid, you had a, a horse on the stick. You dressed as a cowboy, and it was a stick with a horse head. Yes. I was thinking we'd come, three of us bring those stick three horses, and that's what we run around with. Let's, it's I know it's down. another brilliant freaking idea, folks. You're you're the one. You guys, I can feel it. The energy, the thoughts, it goes right through me. Gee. We love you. We love you. <laughs> Remember, come back next Thursday or join us Saturday. It's Sandy Anita Racetrack. Oh yeah, maybe Kurt we'll go live. Lamont's maybe we'll go 50th live. birthday. Great grandson, Larry. Fine. We love you. Woo, 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 woo. And remember, oh, you gotta read this stuff. <laughs> Check out the links. Check out the links in the description of the video. Check out my niece's song. <laughs> Go to AmericanMythology.net. Get to new three stooges. Uh, Look at again. three stooges in a fast lane. Go to three stooges. Check out the new three stooges. <laughs> It supports the channel. We got more stuff coming. I don't know what's happening. Brainstein, Dermot's not here. I'm alone. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs>